Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. All right, that's my, that's my, uh, that's the most serenading I'm going to do while talking about makeup. But I had to wear my Golden Girls t-shirt. It's so cute. I love it. I found it on Poshmark and I had to have it and I love the Golden Girls. They make me so happy and that show stands the test of time and I know I am starting without like any sort of context but you know what I feel a little loopy today. But anywho welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. I am Adrian in New York City and I am currently knee deep in my 30 day 30 lippy challenge. We're going to talk about this lippy. I had to, sh I'll talk about this too, because I was playing with makeup because that's what you should be doing right now is just playing with makeup. If you have extra time, just play with your makeup. Play the way you would play when you were a kid. Why not? Why not? No judgments. Just play, just play. But um, today I actually had my my uh, holiday party through Zoom for my for my job, my day job. And um, it was nice. It was very nice. I was pleasantly surprised. It was actually quite fun. Um, and so yeah, I put this kind of holiday red lip. Um, it is it is E for effortless. That's that's the shade. Um, and this formula, which I've already talked about once before, but I didn't do all swatches. Um, I only talked about two shades, my two newest shades, but this is the MAC Love Me Lipstick. I adore this formula. It's really, really comfortable. Pretty long wearing. I mean, I've been wearing this since, I don't know what time it is. I mean, this application has been on my lips for at, at least, six hours so six hours and i drank and i ate a turkey sandwich and uh what else did i do i watched youtube you know that could wear down your lipstick sometimes <laughs> so i think it's it's kind of it's it's lasting it's lasting it's a really nice um deep red um you know there's certainly more right now like more of a dryness matte sort of sensation but it's not uncomfortable it's not uncomfortable but it's not as creamy and wonderful as it was when I first applied it so um and you can easily apply these reapply them over your lips so you don't have to like wipe out completely but you know I think it's it's a really nice nice shade um yeah it's it's a great and it's a great formula for deeper shades you, you don't have to um you still, of course, have to be careful because it's a deep shade when you're applying it, but it's not insane. It's not like an insane process to apply. I find that like, for example, something like, uh, let's see if I have a good example. Oh, these. These are great for dark long wear too. I haven't talked about them yet, but they're the um, Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayons. They're kind of like these oversized um, lip pencils. They're fantastic for like pigmentation and formula, but they are super dry and you do have to be really careful when you're applying them, like initially applying them. This one, I feel like you can apply it and kind of fudge, fudge around with just a, a wipey and you're fine. You're fine. If this is distracting you, let me know because it's kind of distracting me. I'm contemplating getting a tattoo like this because I love it so much. These are, if you're curious, Cleona shadows. Um, oh my God, they're just so pretty. I'm gonna have to do a whole video, but you have to kind of do that in the daylight and have different lighting in order to really appreciate the like multifaceted nature of some of these shadows, but they're just stunning. They're having a sale tomorrow. You can only, there are limitations, but I mean, I would, I would pick up a few shades if you're curious. They're just a beautiful addition to, you know, your collection. So just my recommendation. 
weld is beautiful if you're looking for one in particular if you like like a dirty dirty kind of green gold deep deep green gold uh this color lunette oh look there's a lot of good stuff there so just just saying um so let's get into swatches i think you know if you're curious about how i feel about this formula you can also check out the other video i talked about it at length I really wanted to revisit this formula because it is one of my favorites. It's one of the ones that I have um, a good variety of shades in. And I did promise in that end of that video that I was going to do lip swatches. And I am a woman of my word. So yeah, let's do some lip swatches. So let me just show you real quickly. And again, I talked in that video, like these all have these beautiful like ombre style containers to indicate kind of what tone variety they are. I just love them. I love them. I love them. Um, so this is E for Effortless. And you'll see like the, the shade is maybe a, a tiny bit, bit deeper in the, in the bullet than on the lips. But let's see if actually... Yeah, I mean, it wore off a little bit, but look at the difference. So this is six hours of wear. Freshly applied. I don't know, I think that's pretty good wear time. Pretty good. Oh, and I love the smell of my MAC lipsticks. They're just, it's just the perfect scent. That, that and Charlotte Tilbury, perfect scent. Perfect scents to lipsticks. Not too much, not too little. Um, all right, so that is E for Effortless, and I will um, be back with another shade. Stay tuned. I just want you to see how nicely it applies. Again, another very, very strong color. Mmm. So creamy. This one is Shamelessly Vain. It's a vibrant, vibrant orange. This is not for everyone, but if you want to attract some attention, it's springtime or something about summer. Um, I mean, like with this neon shirt, I'm like totally summer. But um, yeah, this is uh, Shamelessly Vain. It's really, really pretty. So there you go. Oh, I love this color. This one is called Joie de Vivre. It is French for like life force, like the joy of living. Like literally it means joy and life. So I love the phrase, uh, Joie de Vivre. I actually love a lot of the names here. E for effortless, that one's great. Shamelessly vain, like great names, great names. Um, so this one here is this like really, really, um, has almost like a slight neon in it a neon purple kind of vibe but it's sub it's one one step down it's a little more subdued so I don't know I think it just makes it a little more wearable on camera it looks much more vibrant than in real life it looks a tiny bit more muted but I love this color so this one is joie de vivre and I just wanted to show you that one had a nice like staining effect the other two reds actually didn't stain with the makeup remover that I'm using in between so I like I like when a lip lippy stains I mean not when it's like annoyingly like an annoying stain but it's nice it's nice when there's when there's something left behind um this one is here is bated breath and this one I, I love this color this was one of the first ones I purchased This is a very, um, they put it in the pink category, but I don't know that it belongs there. It is, it has like a mauviness, like a, it's almost like a dirty rose. That's what I would, I would say. It's a, like a dirty, dirty rose wood color. Um, like it just has a very lived in comfortable feel. 
So there's definitely some brown in there. Um, a tiny bit of purple. This rosewood. I mean, I think this is a very sophisticated color. A great everyday, everyday shade. So that is, did I say the name? Bated Breath. Another great name, Bated Breath. So this is a beautiful color. Uh, I, I think I bought this one and Bated Breath at the same time because I felt like they were nice companion colors. But this is called Mon Coeur, My Heart in French. Um, it's so it's a it's real pretty. It's it's like the other color. What was that? Like the Joie de Vivre in it's sort of like it's that purple kind of fuchsia, but this one is a few steps down. It's it's much more muted. Um, this is like the wearable everyday version of the Joie de Vivre, where I would say the Joie de Vivre is like a very um punchy, great kind of nighttime gonna go out or even in, in like the day like fun spring color uh, with a nice winged liner I mean it, it's sort of like this is this is more like I can wear this to the office and be happy and be comfortable um I can wear this every day honestly like it's that it's that comfortable and it's that flattering of a shade I think on on so many tones this would work it is truly neutral. It is neither too cool nor too warm, whereas I would say that Bated Breath it leans more warm, but also the brown in Bated Breath leans neutral. So really, really pretty shades, really, really nice shades. So this is, um, yes, this is Mon Curl. Oh yeah, I know what you're gonna say. I didn't put on another lipstick, but I actually did. <laughs> This is Hey Frenchie. So this is one step further down uh, from like Mon Coeur, like an even more wearable. And I would say this this is a little cooler of um, of a lipstick. They're very, very similar. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Did I need both in my life? No. But it was one of those things where I couldn't swatch them in store. I bought them a while back, but I couldn't swatch them in store. So I was trying to watch videos on like swatch comparisons and there weren't a lot out there. And so I couldn't decide between like one shade and the other. And I really do try to avoid, especially like with lip products to like return them or anything, especially if it's a formula I love. I just usually keep it because I mean, like it's just going to go in the trash. So I, um, when I got this one, I realized, uh-oh, this is like very similar to Monker, but it's it's just, it's it's a bit softer. It's a tiny bit softer. But it's super comfortable, super wearable. It's just a bit pinker too, I would say, like just pinker. Um, it's very, very pretty. It's just very pretty. These, these, these lipsticks, they're just a, a really nice formula. So that is... Hey Frenchie. I won't spend too much time on these because I have a whole video kind of dedicated to these two shades coming up. But this is DGAF. Don't ask me what that means. I don't want to use profanity. So um, DGAF is this chocolatey, rosy brown. Very, very 90s Drew Barrymore. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I love it. I love, of course I love it. Of course I love it. I mean, but you gotta love brown. So, you know, if you don't love brown, skip it. But if you love brown, you're gonna love this shade. Not patchy at all. If you're curious about more information, check out that other video. Uh, next is my last one. So this one too, I covered in that other video. This is Coffee and Sigs. This is again, another um, brownie color, but a bit more subdued and actually very, very similar to Bated Breath, which I wanna pull out and just show you. Well, you're actually gonna see, so this is Bated Breath. 
I feel like they're they're very, very similar. Again, do I need both? Probably not. Will I keep both? Yes, I will. Because, you know, it's my lipstick collection and I'm going to do whatever I want. But I will insert, I did like do some arm swatches earlier with all eight shades that I have in sunlight. Like not too bright so you can kind of see the tone difference. And hopefully it helps you make a decision as to kind of what works because the swatches online are so confusing so confusing and like trying to find videos i don't know i didn't have a lot of luck so i'm hoping i can contribute to the world out there because i want these lipsticks to stick around and i would love if they expand their expanded their range so um hope you enjoyed that and uh stay tuned for the swatches so you could see so you could take a screenshot and um maybe remember to pick some up all right i hope everyone has a great evening and we will check in tomorrow for i think tomorrow's day 18 day 18 wow okay bye everyone